Hi right, YouTube, haven't made a video for a while. I figured I better throw something out there or I'm gonna lose my subscribers. Well, I'm sitting at the uh, north end of Grants Pass at the moment. I'm in my truck. I'm in a location that's overlooking the city. And the reason I'm here is I wanted to do an, ex an experiment with antenna balance. And I had to find a location that uh, wasn't so affected by the trees blowing around every which way. Kind of hard to avoid them here in Southern Oregon. We've got trees and mountains everywhere. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I've got a portable TV next to me here, and I've got a little signal meter on it. And I wanted to try different UHF loops and see how much using different antenna balance affected the signal. So what I've done here is I built one UHF loop that has a, uh, a straight connection here to a barrel. It has no antenna balance whatsoever. I made another one that has an antenna balance that's say 300 to 75 ohm balance, and then I I built another one that has the wrong matching transformer, also known as a Ballon. And it's uh, instead of uh, 300 to 75, it's 75 to 300. I just wanted to see what would happen as far as the signal strength. Well, much to my surprise, I seem to be doing about the best with this uh, little UHF loop here that doesn't have any antenna Ballon on it whatsoever. This is just glue that you're looking at here. And so after trying all three, I, I tried recording my results here. And as you can see, uh, this is the uh, using the correct matching transformer. This is actually using the wrong uh, matching transformer. These are signal strengths, uh, by the way. So the first signal strength was 85. Second one with the wrong transformer was 91 to 96. And with no transformer at all, we got 92 to 100. And uh, that's 575 megahertz. Channel 8. Same thing, started out with the correct matching transformer, 76 to 80. The wrong transformer was 85 to 90, and no transformer at all is 88 to 92. Now I'm wondering, did I buy some dud matching transformers, or maybe it just isn't necessary? I, I don't know. I, I did an experiment like this years ago, and I found out that it, it did seem to help a little bit. It didn't make a huge difference, but I definitely could see a little bit of difference on the meter there. So. Anyway, this has been kind of a fun experiment. I started out doing this in the park, and because there were trees nearby, the signal meter was just going crazy. In fact, even here, if you look, you can see the signal meter still bouncing around a little bit. And it's surprising, because the wind's barely blowing right now. And if you look out yonder, you can see that uh, there isn't a whole lot in the way of the uh, transmitters. We're, we got a pretty much a direct line of sight to the transmitters from this location here. So anyway, I... I uh, Love to hear your opinion on antenna balance. Um, they're supposed to help uh, deliver the signal to the TV more effectively by the correct impedance matching. And as far as I can see, at least with the balance I've got here, I'm not really seeing much difference. By the way, this loop here, it's getting every channel available we can get here in Grants Pass because of the location I'm at at the moment. This isn't true for everybody, but when you're on a hill like this, you'd be surprised what you can pick up. Anyway, for what it's worth, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Not much of a view out this way. Maybe it's the lighting.